Hi, best friends. Welcome to the most nervous I have been on a YouTube vlog. Welcome. I'm on my way to my first show in, I think, to the day, exactly seven months, or not, maybe not to the day, but pretty darn close, seven months ago. No, and you did it in the day seven Yeah, I did it in the day seven months ago. And it's the morning. Rosie wanted me to let you know it is the middle of the night. <laughs> it is 5.40 right now. And we are on our way to show. my show. We are doing the Hopkins Raspberry Festival. It's a little bit of a drive, but hopefully... Um, an easy one. I'm not running into any traffic so far. The roads are pretty empty, which is awesome. Setup starts at 6, has to be completed by 8.30. And man, I tell you what, muscle memory, you guys. I forgot. My muscle memory is shot. Ooh, I didn't, I, I, I first of all, I forgot my earrings least of, least my of my problems her forgot her jacket and her blanket also most importantly forgot money like change so it's gonna be a cashless show I'm going to have to run cards exclusively or take exact change because I have no change um, but that I don't think that's the first time that's ever happened I think I've had to do shows before where I've had no cash or where I've had like $25 in change you know like not very much so I do believe that that will be okay I'm just <laughs> ah, I am so I was just like what do I need what do I bring and the only thing that I made sure that I had like I mean I made sure I had most of the things if not all of them hopefully but the thing I was like I need to make sure I have this above anything else is my square my square uh, reader for the square app on my phone so I can run people's cards I was like okay I've got that perfect I have my tablecloths I have four tables I have a new tent canopy because I couldn't find it last night. I looked everywhere. CJ like walked around on FaceTime with me. Oh, that's another thing, you guys. I'm alone for this show. I'm alone. You're not alone. No, not alone. You, I'll be with Rosie. Yes. Yes. So I am going to be just me and Rosie for this entire show from five in the morning to five o'clock at night minimum. And whoo, first show back by myself is a lot. It's a lot. Yep, Daddy was supposed to be with us, and he is not. So, no, uh, he was with us at the last show, yes. So, anyway, um, we are doing our best here today. I'm just trying to remember. I've had to tell myself a few times today, but I'm just trying to really remember. Slow down. You know, just slow down, because... Um, hold on, I'm trying to get over. Now I'm trying to speed up. I have to get over. Move, like go. You know I'm trying to get over. Mm. I hate that when people like can see that I have my blinker on that I'm trying to get over and they're just like, oh me? Okay, now I lost. I'm following CJ's dad because CJ's dad is going to help me with 
the not so much the setup but just the getting there and the unloading that's what I really really need help with he also loaded up my car for me this morning while I was getting Rose ready which was super super helpful and really nice like by the time I got downstairs I was like oh, okay like all the boxes are already in the car so yeah now I'm following him I'm really nervous you guys I cried about this for hours of time the last couple days because I'm so nervous and so many other little cars yes and grandma's yeah um you're right Rosie so yeah I've cried so much about this and honestly to tell you guys the truth I canceled this show I told CJ I was like I'm not gonna go forget about it like I can't do it because I was so nervous and so stressed. I don't think we're supposed to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are. And I was like, forget it. I can't do it. If you're not going to be there, I can't do it. And I've done shows by myself before and that was no problem. But this is a very large show and I have to set up my booth. I, the, setting up the booth is not even the problem driving up to where I'm setting up my booth and finding where I need to be is the problem because I am so directionally challenged. It said I have to be on the west side or yeah, the west side of 8th Avenue on the south side of the street because I'm an odd number and I have to park two blocks away. First of all, I don't know what west or south means. Second of all, I don't know what blocks are like I'm a country girl I don't know what that means and so I was just like I can't do it and plus not only that I have to be driving on those roads trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go with 200 plus other vendors also doing the exact same thing and me being in their way and them being in my way and having to navigate that and I was just like I legitimately cannot do it like I don't know how and then I just kept picturing like if it were my best friend and she was like girl like telling me the exact same story I would be like girl you're telling me that because a man's not coming with you you can't do the show like you can you can do this come on like you know what I mean I would just be like girl please we're gonna do this together I'll show up with you like we'll make this happen right and I kept telling myself that but that still wasn't enough to make me be like okay I'm I'm going to the show but what finally made me decide to do it was I was like if I miss the show I'll be like well it wasn't meant to be oh well whatever I missed the show that's a bummer but I kept picturing if I did go the only thing that I would be saying is I am so glad that I pushed through and that I did that show and I made it happen. That's the only outcome of actually going and showing oh, up <laughs> and making it happen is just being proud of myself for not giving up, for being strong, for being brave <laughs> and just doing it. And this might sound so trivial to most of you guys to just be like, oh my God, she doesn't know directions and she cried about it for hours. Like, but genuinely I did. And everybody's hard looks different. That That is a hard for me, okay? So I'm doing it and Chuck is gonna drive in front of me and we are going to get there, unload, and then so he's going to take going to, your going to follow my dad's Yes. Ah. So uh, and uh CJ's mom is is somewhere else. Yes. It's just CJ's dad here today. CJ is working. That's the reason why he can't make the show. But he was really bummed. He was just like, I have to get this job done. I have to be in three places at once. I overbooked myself again. I overestimated or underestimated how long. One sec. 
how long this would take me. What? I'm sorry. And yeah, so he was just like, I feel like you're just being pushed to the back burner. And I was like, I am, but I understand, like, I understand. Cause the thing is too, we have to go to Texas next week. And so we have to go to Texas next week. So he does have to finish this job this week and he's got so much left to do. So he has to stay and work. So it's like, on one hand, I am being pushed to the back burner because it's just like, whatever. But on the other hand, I like need him to be there to work so that we can, what baby? Huh? Honey, I can't hear you. You've got to talk louder. Yes, I will stop talking to them now. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know. Um, I told Rosie last night, I was just like, just so you know, girlfriend, I'm really nervous. I'm really worried. Tomorrow is going to be me doing something really scary for me. So I might be cranky. I might be um, frustrated. And I'm going to try really hard to be like very, very nice. But I, I might get frustrated. So just so you know. And she was like, okay. So I'm going to try to respect her wishes right now and she doesn't want me to be on the phone anymore so I'm not going to but I just wanted to let you guys know this is what's going on and this is me before my first show and, in uh, seven make months sure, uh, comment down below. make sure to comment down below what should they comment what emoji maybe like what little picture should they comment A bow. Okay. Comment the bow emoji in the comments down below for the algorithm. I love you guys so much. Wish me luck. Well, by the time you're watching this, it already happened. It's already done. But wish me luck anyway. I love you so much. I forgot chairs too. I forgot chairs. And so that means I'm going to be standing until 5 p.m. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.